Hi everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be answering some questions. I'm just planning to answer any questions that people have asked. Uh, a lot of these are basic and some of them are a little bit more complicated. So if you do have any questions that aren't on here, make sure you post them instead of the comments. I'll do my best to answer them or add them to a video if there's a lot of them. All right, let's get started though. All right, for the first question I got asked, or that I've seen getting asked is, people are wondering, they've bought a storage unit and they're wondering how to place down another bed for their friends. So to get started, I'm going to show you guys the property. A storage unit, a little less than 3000, has one door, one box, a member limit of six. Okay, so you can have six people activated on this storage at all times. Group limit is three, so you can only roam as three. However, you can have six people authorized in your building. Just make sure you're not PVPing the other. Now, as far as placing down another bed, you actually can't place down beds, but everyone that is authorized in this location can spawn in here. So storage units come in the same size. All of them are basically the same. However, you'll notice this one has a workbench placed inside of it. That means somebody placed a workbench. Here's one right here. Somebody placed it a little bit different. And let's see if we can find one a little bit. Yep. Same thing. This one doesn't have a couch inside of it. Might be a little bit more roomy. You can see somebody's station right there has a couple different things in them. You guys can see the differences. They're all basically the same. The key differences that you're gonna end up seeing is going to be this. Looks like there's a shelf up there. And in some of them, there is a couch. And some of them have like a picture. Looks like that is the only real differences between all of the storage units. Now, using this as an example, my recommendation would be have a furnace right here, maybe a second box right here, and I would have that placed as far to one side as you can, so you can see if you could have another box. Maybe get two boxes in there, that way you have a total of three. I would not recommend having a storage unit, however, if this is something that you're going to do, that's kind of how I would aim for it. Storage units are usually available. All right, guys, and the next question was, how do I buy an apartment? So there's a couple different options as far as living goes, and we're going to go over all of them. Now, my recommendations would be this right over here. We're going to come right up here show you guys where we are. There's a few different apartments. I'm going to the tier one apartments, which are right next to the shop, the job center. Tier one apartments are the cheapest and they are also the easiest to raid. Keep that in mind. Now that it's loaded in and the doors will actually load. As you can see, all you do, come inside of the apartment, and you're going to open up your chat function, do slash P-H-O-N-E, which is going to spell phone, hit enter, go right down here, you're going to see real estate, it's going to tell you how much the apartment costs, all, all of the tier 1 apartments cost the same, all of the tier 2 apartments cost the same as tier 2, and all of the tier 3 apartments cost the same as tier 3. So, all tier 1 have 3 doors, limit of 6, their location, a fee every 24 hours, a purchase price, and they come with 3 boxes. So keep that in mind, and hope this helps you guys out. Alright, and the next question is very simple. How do I get my car out of the garage? Now, in order to get your car out of the garage, you need to be standing on the road. Or inside of a parking lot also kind of works. Depends on the parking lot. Now, as you can see, I'm on the road, standing right in the middle. 
go in my phone, I go to real estate, and the top you're going to see home, my properties, authorized properties, and you're going to see the garage. Now in order to get my car out of the garage, I'm simply going to click retrieve, and that's going to cost me $200. Now I'm inside of my car. That's how that works. You can see that my car is also heavily damaged. So in order to fix the car using the garage, I'm going to go do all the same things and fix the vehicle. It cost me $400 to fix the vehicle. It's back at full. Now my car is not randomly going to break on me or get broken and have somebody just take all my stuff out of it. Do I even have anything in it? I absolutely do. Lots of farm in there. So keep that in mind. That's how you end up fixing your car and getting out of the garage. All right, everybody, this is a little bit less simple to show. However, I'm going to show you how to do this from the job site. Now, the question was, where do I get animal fat? Now my assumption is they are trying to get low grade. I'm going to point out low grade is not used to fuel up your gas tank. Low grade is pretty much only used for using any generator, or it's also used for a chainsaw. Chainsaws are incredibly useful and they are expensive and they are a pain to find a low grade for because in order to get low grade, you really do need that animal fat. Now you can see where I'm going over here. You can do this on foot or you can do this in a car. However, I am going to recommend that if you end up doing that, you make sure that you're also understanding people could be fighting you. This is not a do this in a safe zone area. This is potential PVP. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to summon my mini copter, make sure that I have fuel. Looks like someone actually destroyed it, so I've got to wait. There we go. Now, the place that I'm actually going to want to go is the hunting grounds going to show you the one near the safe zone and the path that you're going to take. Now my recommendation is to take that dirt road if you're on a car. So you can see it right under me. Dirt road. All the way down here. Going up. And it's going to bring you to this gated in area. Now, hunting grounds have all of the animals that you're going to need. Some animals you also need to take out for quests as well. These animals are going to be chickens, boars, and bears in that order. Not quite sure on the amount, however, they are all found here. My recommendation if you are going to be over here hunting is to bring a shotgun and a knife or whatever you would choose to make sure that you're getting as much leather, as much animal fat, as much meat as possible. Animals will attack you, so keep that in mind. Same as official, they're just inside of one giant pen. Up on this rock, you are safe. I have not seen animals get up here before, but the moment that I leave this rock, I am subject to being attacked. Kind of expecting that boar to attack me from just there. There we go. Boar and bear attacking. Jump over the fence. They no longer can get me. They can run around and they can actually get out of this area, but they will despawn after a while, so nothing you really need to worry about there. If you are shooting a lot in this area, you can be heard from the safe zone, so keep that in mind. The other thing that I'm going to mention is there is another hunting area right down here. 
H12 also has a hunting area. It is a little bit safer in my opinion. Your shots are not going to draw everyone from the main town. So I would recommend if you're not too PvP savvy, go over there. However, this is Rust. I'm sure you're in it for the PvP. Now, next question after I... There we go. Next question. All right, and the next question was, where do I go to sell gold bars? Now, you've probably gotten some gold bars from doing heists. Now, gold bars are a large amount of money. Gold bars are also used for a quest. There is a quest. If I go into my phone, go into the quests, be rebel. One of these is going to have us sell diamonds, and then afterwards it will have you sell gold bars. Keep this in mind. You may need gold bars later on. Now, if you end up needing diamonds or gold bars, you're simply going to go over to the black market trader. It's found at the bottom of the map. And you're just going to go through each one of these until you figure out which one sells what you need. It was the first one I tried. Okay. Well, as you can see, make sure you end up checking all the tabs and you're not going to run around this town looking for which one you're actually going to go to. Gold bars currently sell for 2,500, same as diamonds. Gold can be stolen from a bank around the map. So, keep that in mind. If you have any gold bars, this is basically all you could do. However, the added little bonus is there are actually a few quests that you need to turn in. Well, one quest that you need to turn in that will have you turn in the gold bars. I haven't met that quest yet, which means I can't tell you the amount. I believe it's 10 gold bars. So, keep that in mind and hope that helps you out. Alright everybody, I made this video to help people out. If you have any questions, please post them inside of the comments. I'll either try to answer them in the comments, or I'll maybe even make a video on them. I've seen a lot of people asking for help on this server, and all of it is just basic information that you will receive after playing for a while. However, these were things that popped up that I was like, hey, I can kind of see that I had some issues with this too. So, let me help you out. Make sure you hit that like button and follow button for more content, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.